good morning everybody welcome back to the vlog it is saturday right now and oh and it's a sunny day and i'm excited um we're gonna be doing a lot of book stuff today so get excited to start this vlog off i need to go make a coffee so let's go do that now bye <laughs> coffee i didn't show it that much because it was the espresso machine was acting really crazy um and then i finally realized that <laughs> the water was out so i just had to replace the water um so yeah figured that out it's 8 20 so my plan is today to go to the mall because i want to go to barnes and do a little shopping because i have some books that I want to get then I'll give you guys a little haul of what I end up getting and I think I'm also going to show you guys my March TBR I mean it's already March 9th and I mean I've only read one book so far this month I'm not going to go too crazy on that but we will decide a couple books that I do want to get read this month so stay tuned for that and let's have a good day It's only 9.30 and I've done pretty much everything I need to do for the day. I'm just kind of waiting for the mall to open at 10. So I'm going to try and find some more things to do, I guess. Maybe I'll tidy up my room a little bit. It's not even that bad. <clears throat> but I wrote in my planner for the week. I counted up all my tip money and now I have nothing to do. So we're just waiting till 10. Also, question. So my hair, but my hair like does this, it has like cowlicks. I don't know if the, what's that called? Noops in the front here. And it makes me look like a Prince Charming from Shrek. And I just don't know how to fix it. If any of you guys know anything about hair, let me know. Cause does it look weird? Does it look bad? I don't know. Sometimes it just like, like when it's up like that, it's just like Prince Charming from Shrek. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Well, Lexus is leaving without me, but I brought Lexus with me to Barnes and Noble, and now we're gonna go look for some books. She is super excited, probably more excited than me. Um, like, look Hi. at her face. Yeah, I know. 
All right, she obviously, we got her. She's crazy. She's a crazy woman. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm slipping away. So don't let me go. vlog that you probably are most excited for I would assume my dad finally let me open my blinds so during the winter because our house is really old he put up these like plastic things so I can't open and close my windows I couldn't all winter and my mom gave me permission to poke a hole and open my blinds and I am very excited about it that has nothing to do with what we're doing. Time for a book haul. Let's get into it. So as you just saw, my sister and I just went to Barnes & Noble, shopped around a little, she bought nothing, I bought everything. I actually was gonna get two other books, but then I decided against it because I started listening to it on an audiobook, so if I like the audiobook, then I'll buy the book. But I need to pace myself because I told myself I wasn't buying things ever. Let's get into it. Okay, the first book I bought, um, I actually heard about this from, I think I, I think I heard about it from Destiny Sidwell, but I think Haley Pham read it too. I can't, I can't remember 100%, um, but it is Shark Heart by Emily Havoc. Shark Heart, Shark, it is Shark Heart by Emily Havoc. So the only thing I actually know about this book is that her husband is like slowly turning to a shark. <laughs> so this book is a literary fiction, which I don't have a ton of that on my bookshelf. So I decided to expand my horizons. If you know me, I'm a shark girl, that's for sure. I love sharks just in general. Um, so I know, I know this probably doesn't have much to do with like, like the scientific stuff with sharks but I've watched a lot of shark documentaries I will say and this one just sounds super interesting to me um I'm excited to read this so that's the first book Alrighty, for our second book I got Pineapple Street again I saw someone reading this and I don't exactly remember who it was this is Pineapple Street by Jenny Jackson I just googled it and it says it's a domestic fiction and urban fiction um, I think it's probably close to literary fiction. Um, it's about like suburban housewives, I believe. Shot through with the indulgent pleasures of life among New York's one percenters, Pineapple Street is an addictive escapist novel that sparkles with wit. So it's a comedy too. So and that is our second book, Pineapple Street. All right, third book is Good Material by Dolly Ald Alderton. <laughs> Dolly Alderton. Um, this is a fiction as well and a romance. I think that's what I just read. Contemporary romance and humorous fiction. <laughs> Contemporary romance and humorous fiction is what it says online. It's about a man who gets broken up by someone I believe and the cover is really cute. <laughs> um, honestly a lot of these books that I'm getting are kind of not up my alley. Like I'm a fantasy girl. Y'all know that. I've been watching a lot of videos where people are reading like literary fiction and regular fiction books. So I'm excited to read this one as well. And the last one I really know nothing about. Um, my sister found this and she's like, 
oh, this is cute. You should buy it. And I said, sure. So this is Summer Sisters by Judy Bloom, And it's the summer of 1977. And I think you're just following some people's lives. A summer of two friends, I believe, or sisters. I guess they're probably sisters. Just kidding, they're friends. And one of them gets is getting married and wants the other one to come to their wedding. And I'm not really sure what else the plot is about but it's a very cute book that is the end of the book haul this is what we got here very cute but now let's put them on our bookshelf if you haven't watched my last video what exactly are you doing <laughs> my dad put up these shelves for me and we organized our bookshelves i don't know if i ever told you in that last video that i put them in genre and alphabetical order i don't think i said the alphabetical order part so now we're gonna put these up here, mostly in that section right there. And there they are. There's that one, that one, that one, and that one. Cute. Okay, so I know for most of this video, all I've been doing is really just talking about books. I am not sorry about it, <laughs> but I have my TBR for the month of March. Oh wait, okay, now I have my TBR ready. March it's March 9th already, which I get that most people do their TBRs at the beginning of the month, but I did not. <laughs> but I have already read one book this month. We all know this. I guess that's technically on my TBR, but I already finished it, so. Other than that, here is the rest of our TBR. Yeah, I'm keeping it to four books because I am being realistic. That's all I can say. I am going on a trip end of March, so that might be a good time for me to read some books. However, we are like doing outdoor activity stuff, so we'll see if that actually happens. Let's just get into this. Yeah. I have been saying for the longest time that I'm going to read this series because everyone in my family read it and loves it and I still have not read it. Um, that is my fault. I need to get to this series but I might try and read this like, I don't know, last because I kind of want to get to the other ones like a little bit more. But yeah, this is the first book on our TBR, Prison Healer. I've, I need to read this book. And a series I just I do okay next we have the cheat sheet by Sarah Adams um this is one of my options in my last video my last reading video where I read the seven year slip seriously so small and the writing is like pretty large so I could finish this probably so fast and my sister read it and she said it was cute and it was a closed door romance I will probably get, be getting to this one for sure okay I know I literally just talked about this book in my book haul but i do <laughs> i do want to read this book this month i think it will be so interesting like i'm curious to see what the concept of it is like her husband is has a disease that is slowly turning him into a great white shark who comes up with that i just want to know what it means so <laughs> this is another book on our tbr and then this book i started reading I don't even know how far I got into it honestly probably less than 100 pages um and that's the masterpiece by Francine Rivers I loved 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 redeeming love by Francine Rivers and oh, what was that other book called bridge to haven I don't own that book but my parents own it bridge to haven was so good cried multiple times during that book and during Redeeming Love. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of myself reading the end and crying to it. I don't know, maybe I don't, but if I do, I'll put it up on the screen and embarrass myself. Um, the Masterpiece, it had such like a slow beginning that it just, I was not able to get into it, but I really want to try it again because I do love Francine Rivers books and the way that she writes and she just makes it it's like kind of hard to read sometimes because she makes it so like she discusses really hard topics she's a christian author and these are fiction novels 
um, but they're so good. I know it's kind of thick, but they're, they're easy to get to through once you like start reading them. So this is also going to be on my TBR and I want to try reading it again because I've heard it's so good once you get past like the slow start. And then obviously I read this one already, so that's on our TBR too. So we have five books here. So this is our TBR for March. I'm excited to read these books and we'll see what I get through. I should do like, I think I'll probably make a video of reading some of these books. So stay tuned for that. Get excited for it. Let me know which one I should read first. Um, I'm kind of thinking this one. I really want to see what's going on. But yeah, we'll see. This is a TBR.